welcome to Wolf TV, a production of Sela Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, Sela family. I'm Mrs. Buchanan, and today is Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Today is American Libraries Day. Huh? That's like one of my favorite holidays ever. My favorite days. Would you ever be able to guess that I love libraries, books, storytelling, research, learning, teaching, Children, people, love, 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 love. As soon as you're able to, be sure to visit a library. It's a magical place. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Puro lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república a la que representa una nación indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Our weather forecast today is 77 and sunny. Oh, 77 is a little warmer. Still liking the fall cool air, though. Don't forget to sign up for CMS Eats at Home. Check out our Facebook page or Class Dojo for more information. Or you can sign up at the web address shown on the screen. It's time for Que Pasa Sila. Hola chicos, I'm Miss Santiago and today we're going to share something about Venezuela. I presented to my mom, she's, from, she's actually from Spain but she grew up in Venezuela. I was born in Venezuela and uh, one fact, uh, cool fact about Venezuela is, have you seen the movie Up? If you see the movie Up, you definitely see Venezuela before because that's an angel fall, which is the largest and tallest waterfall in the world so that's a cool fact about venezuela I was there when i was a little girl and you can just go by airplane and you can see uh, by the airplane when you see it the, the waterfall is so huge and beautiful now my mother is gonna make something for you she's gonna bake some special dish that we love venezuela love where is venezuela located next to colombia in south america and she's gonna make arepas so my mom is gonna speak spanish to you so she's gonna uh, explain you How to make arepas. Mami, ¿cómo se hacen las arepas? Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? Vamos, les voy a preparar unas arepas venezolanas. Estos son los ingredientes. Sal, muy simple. Una cucharadita de sal, agua y harina de maíz. En el caso de nosotros, usamos harina pan. Entonces, tenemos un bol donde vamos a mezclar las arepas. Colocamos, yo coloco primero el agua, ¿sí? Quería decirle, chicos, ahí está cerrado, pásame lo que vea. Quería decirle, chicos, que en otros países de Latinoamérica también hacen sus propias arepas. Eh, algunos les echan la tijera, le echan queso, otros le echan leche, diferentes maneras de hacer las cosas. Entonces ya colocamos el agua, ahora la cucharadita de azúcar, de sal. Algunos también le echan azúcar, les gusta el dulce. Okay. In Colombia, we do, we do have uh, sweet arepas, which are yummy, yummy. Mira, aquí están. Y aquí empezamos a mezclarlas, ¿ves? Aquí. Como tenemos poco tiempo, ¿ves? Se va haciendo una masa, una masa uniforme. Como tenemos poco tiempo, aquí les tengo el resultado. El resultado es este, una masa uniforme, la cual hacemos así, como un rollito, lo acostumbro a hacer. Coloco así, ¿ven? Hago una bolita. Así, así bien redondita y la colocamos para sellarlas nosotros llamamos budares otras personas como el médico es comal o simplemente puede ser también una plancha como se dice aquí en Estados Unidos entonces cuando las tenemos selladas las colocamos en el horno podemos hacerlas chiquitas como dice esta o grande las colocamos en el horno y aquí les voy a mostrar el resultado final. And then what you do is you open this and you put some cheese and ham, meat, aguacate, all the yummy stuff and you can eat it like a sandwich. But it's not a sandwich, it's arepa. So thank you guys. Bye. Adiós. Bye.
Thanks for sharing how to use Book Creator. I've never used it. Definitely going to investigate it now and use it. Thanks, Cruz. One of the reasons that I love teaching and love the library is that I'm constantly learning. New, learning new things, learning lots of things. And you all have become my teacher. You're teaching me. You're teaching me all about basketball, book creator, bike safety, soccer, dancing, car racing. The list goes on and on and on. You're the teacher. I'm the student. And I love it. Keep sending those videos in. Keep them to one minute or less. Now for a Sela Junior moment. Hello everybody. My name is Deanna and I'm in the small Donatas and I'm five and I'm making slime kit and um this is what the ingredients are. Glue, activated color, and a bowl and some glue. some glitter in, and right now I'm going to put some glue in. And then you mix it all up. And now you have some slime. Adios! Riddle, riddle, riddle time, riddle time, riddle time. Today's riddle, yesterday's riddle actually, you draw a line without touching it. How do you make the line longer? You draw a line, and without touching it, how do you make the line longer? Hmm. So I draw a line. If I can't touch it to make it longer, how am I going to make it longer? Uh, what if I draw a shorter line underneath it? If I draw a shorter line underneath it, then my original line becomes longer. That's pretty cool. Your first line becomes longer because you made a shorter one underneath it. It's longer than the short one. Mm, that's sort of tricky. All right, today's riddle. How do you make the number one disappear? How do you make the number one disappear? Mm, think, 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 think. Manana iguana. Be amazing. Bye.